are now looking at something exquisitely elegant, which gifted us a week of peace and tranquility. Between the mad scramble for EVs, hordes of new SUVs and a bizarre resurgence of MPVs, this Lexus ES300H was a breath of fresh air. Okay, maybe elegant is a subjective term, but we'll defend our position about this car being exquisite. Lexuses, or is it Lexi? Well, they've always been luxuriously appointed, but some of them, especially the previous ES range, just felt like a really posh Toyota. This one though, oh boy, this one looks and feels amazing. I'll let you be the judge and jury on its crazy front grille or this daring color combination. But in my jaded Juno eyes, they add even more flamboyance to a vehicle which desperately needed it. There are hints of Sonata, 7 Series or Lexus GS in its design details, but all of them in a subtle and pleasing way. Right, enough about the looks. Besides a regular ES250, the Japanese manufacturer also sells this ES300H mild hybrid here in Southern Africa. Your choice between two trim levels determines the final price of either 814,000 Rand or 1 million bucks. The non-hybrid 250 comes in at a slightly more affordable 757k. Uh, what else? Some people may be intimidated by all the gadgets in this vehicle, but that goes for all its rivals too. Highlights in here include the touchpad controlled widescreen media system, mesmerizing climate controls, fully ventilated front seats, collapsible rear armrests with media and climate controls, plus heat heaters, and more sunshades than we knew what to do with. The engine in this car is just a four-cylinder, so it doesn't sound particularly inspiring, which is exasperated by the one gear fits all CVT type of gearbox. However, its power output of 160 kilowatt is commendable, and that little electric helper bridges any low RPM hesitation. Just crank up the Mark Levinson sound system and forget that you're piloting a four-banger. Same as all its competitors. There's even a dedicated electric-only mode at very low speeds, provided the battery is sufficiently charged. Other than that, as you would expect from the experienced Toyota slash Lexus stable, the transition between electric and petrol power is pretty seamless, and some short journeys can be made on the sniff of an oil rag. As for outright performance, although the car wasn't very pleased with our brake stand, it helped us to beat the maker's claim by almost half a second. Our best 0 to 100 sprint time was 8.33 seconds. Lexus SA also claims a top speed of 180 km an hour, no doubt an EV derived low limit, which we managed to beat by a few k's an hour. Okay, maybe the speedo was over reading slightly. But another interesting hybrid phenomenon is the ability to coast towards 120 km an hour with the engine switched off. Anyway, in conclusion, with petrol prices hashtag reaching for the stars, it's great to see that Lexus is matching the favorite Germans by offering highly efficient drivetrains in striking luxury vehicles. What really got our stamp of approval was that this arresting design actually hides a cocoon of smoothness, comfort, and tranquility. <laughs>